Hello, science people. Today, I want to just quickly talk about the language of DNA, gene expression, and the protein pathway. And so this is just a quick synopsis of the pathways that these processes take. So let's start with the language of DNA. Okay, so a nucleotide is the single letters in the language of DNA. And so when we talk about DNA as a language, all the words in that language are only three letters long. DNA is a language of three letters. It's pretty amazing. So a nucleotide are the single letters, and then a word in the language of DNA is called a codon. A codon is three nucleotides. So you have nucleotide and then codon. And then if you put a whole bunch of codons together, it's gonna make up what we call a gene. A gene is a segment of DNA that codes for something. It says to make something. It is a complete sentence, if you will, or maybe a paragraph. It is a segment of DNA that says to code for something specific. So we have nucleotide, codon, and then we have a gene. And now all of these genes are located on a chromosome. A chromosome is a single strand of DNA curled up, piled up. And so we have 46 chromosomes, which means we have 46 strands of DNA. And on all of those strands of DNA, we have genes. Those genes have words, which are codons, which are made up of nucleotides. Okay, so that is the language of DNA. So then how does this turn into protein? How, does gene, how do genes get expressed? So let's talk about an intro to gene expression. I'm not gonna talk about how, but I'm gonna talk about the pathway. So what happens is you have DNA. Well, then that DNA is going to get read. And so it's gonna get read by an RNA polymerase. That RNA polymerase is an enzyme. And I know I'm going quick, but that RNA polymerase reads the DNA and creates an RNA strand. So we can't really use DNA. A lot of people think of DNA as like the blueprints. Well, if the DNA is the blueprints, then the RNA is the instructions. So we have to turn DNA into RNA before we can make the instructions that are really written on DNA. So we have an, a polymerase called RNA polymerase that reads the DNA and creates the RNA strand. And so the RNA strand are, is the instructions that was on DNA. Now that RNA strand does not leave the nucleus right away it has to be processed. It has to be turned into what we call mRNA, messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is gonna be what leaves the nucleus. So again, DNA to RNA. RNA gets processed and now it's mRNA. What does that process mean? It means it's given a cap and a tail. So it's given a guanine cap and lots of A's, lots of adenines, we call it a poly A tail. So you get a cap and a tail on your RNA strand and then we're gonna remove things that are called introns and only put exons together, which I'll talk about in another video. And so now the RNA strand is processed and now it's messenger RNA, it's mRNA. That mRNA is then gonna leave the nucleus. Once the mRNA leaves the nucleus, now it's ready to be read and the instructions followed. And so what's gonna happen is an enzyme called a ribosome a ribosome is gonna to bind to that mRNA. The ribosome is gonna read the instructions on that mRNA, and it's gonna to put together all of the amino acids in the pattern that the mRNA strand says to do. And so that ribosome is going to be putting these amino acids together in sequence that the mRNA, mRNA strand says to do, because you are made of protein, and protein is made of amino acids. And so, Really, if we think about it, your DNA is a message of which amino acids to put together because all of our genes are basically instructions to make proteins. So let's go over this again. DNA gets turned into RNA. RNA gets processed into mRNA. The mRNA leaves the nucleus. A ribosome clamps down on it and begins reading the instructions and putting together amino acids in the sequence that the mRNA says to do. Now, this amino acid chain that is being built by the ribosome gets built and put into your rough ER, your rough endoplasmic reticulum, where that protein then gets packaged 
and it gets labeled and then it gets sent to the Golgi apparatus where it gets further packaged and then shipped off in a vesicle to wherever it needs to go. And so if this is a protein that needs to be sent somewhere in your body, it'll be sent there by the Golgi apparatus. We think of the Golgi apparatus as the mailman in your cell. So it'll ship off that protein. Or maybe that protein needs to stay in your cell and it'll just stay there. And so again, proteins go from the ribosome that makes them to the rough ER, from the rough ER to the Golgi apparatus, and then packaged in a vesicle, which is a transport and shipped somewhere. So this was just a run through of how we go from DNA to a protein. And this is how we read that DNA. All right, I'll see you guys in the next videos.